let's do some SQL. First 50% of records from dataset. This question appeared in the interviews of Amazon and Bosch. In this question, they're simply asking, give us first 50% of records from the dataset. So they are just asking us to give us the first half of the dataset. What exactly is this dataset here? So we have this worker table here. Let's explore that table now. Select star from worker. As you can see, we have six columns here and they are asking us to output first half of this data set. So how can you do that? So the approach that I'm taking here is I'll be creating a one more column here. Let's call it row number. So this will be the seventh column here. And in that row number column, I will number all these rows. Okay. So the first row will be this one will be number one, then two, then three, four, five, and so on. Right. As you, you might be wondering, why am I doing that? I have this worker ID column here. This also has rows which are numbered. But the thing is, I don't want to rely on this worker ID column because you never know, right? For example, this row here, row number five, worker ID five, um, if, if the employee changes or if the employee's uh, worker ID changes to something else, um, that's kind of unreliable, right? I don't want to rely on that. I'm going to create my own column. And after I'm done creating that column and after I'm done numbering those rows, um, I will do a very simple logic, which will give me a subset of that data set. Subset meaning the first half of that data set. So let's begin. Again, as I said, I'll be creating one more column. Essentially, I'm using here a window function, more specifically a row number window function. So row number. And as a syntax is row number over our window, which is order by, uh, let's order by worker ID, okay? And let's keep it in, this, in ascending order. That means from smallest to largest. And let's see what we get. This will give us a row number with the, a column row number with the name row number. So, and there you have it. You have this new column now with row numbers, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and so on. Let's save this in a CTE, let's call it CTE1. You can call it whatever you want. And now let's do select star from CTE1. And now let's do our filtration. What do I mean by that? So they're asking for first half or first 50% of records, right? So what can we do here? So I'm gonna do where row number, which is name of our column, less than equals. Let's do a sub query here, select. Let's do max, max row number. And I'll explain what's going on here. From CTE1, okay? And let's see what we have here. So, okay, this thing first, this logic, the row number less than equals this thing. What is this subquery here? What is this going to give you? So select max row number. What is select max row number? That will be the last row number, right? If you're starting at one, two, three, four, five, let's say you have 16 rows. So that will be 16, right? So this will be 16 max will be 16. What is 16 divided by two? That's eight. So this will give you eight. Assuming the records are six, their total record, their, their total 16 records in the data set, right? So this will give you eight. So then with where row number less than equals eight, that means it will give you records from one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, up to eight, right? Because we're using less than equal. So that will give us the first half of the data set. Okay, hopefully you get that idea. And uh, let's see, we have this here, right? So we have six, we have six records here, six rows here. That means our data set had 12 total rows. And now we have the first 50% uh, first of that 
of that data set okay I'm sure this is not the right answer because I've added this column here I need to remove that column so if you check your solution obviously it's going to be wrong right because they don't expect that extra column to be there but my solution does so let's not select that so let's specify all these column names one by one so worker ID first name last name salary joining date and department I think that's the last column we had originally yep and I think they should give us the right answer because now we are not including that row number column so and there you have it that's the right answer pretty simple logic I used row number window function to assign numbered rows to my column and then afterwards I just filtered rows uh, using this logic here where I'm selecting the max rows you can you know what you can also use select count star here which will also give you the total count of that of that data set and then you can just divide that by two and then you can just have this where row number less than equals whatever that number is and it's gonna give you all the rows up to that up to that number right so hopefully you understand this one um, a little bit tricky but actually not that much